We're going to talk about writing for your website. You may be thinking, I'm a designer, I don't need to write. Um, that's why I wanted to be a designer in the first place. But it's actually really, really important because the copy or the text on your website, that can really influence your visual design too. As a designer, it's really important that you understand how the written communication or the copy works on the website. So it's going to stop you from being a kind of a design order taker to more of a design leader. So then you can start to brief in copywriters and understand how they work. So it's not about replacing the copywriters' jobs. They have enough problems as it is. It's about understanding how everything works in a holistic way. And then if you do need to write copy, you'll know a bit about it and you can start kind of building the entire website yourself. So understanding how people read a website will also influence their visual design. People have started doing eye tracking on how people read websites. And the most common pattern is this F pattern here. So your eyes will scan along the top line, go down, next one, and then scan down this kind of vertical axis. From here, you know where to put the most important information and you can see how people kind of will drop off kind of reading the further down the web page they go. The next tip is to know your audience. If you're going to start using language, you're going to want to know how they talk and you're going to want to talk in their language. And be careful not to use any jargon they don't understand. Just like in writing for offline communications, you can use what's called like an inverted pyramid. We'll put the most important thing right at the top. We can think about who you're talking to, what you're talking about, where, why, how. This is like the kind of most interesting thing, most juiciest thing at top, and we should keep it very short and very snappy. This is like the main headline. Underneath that, we're gonna include some important details about your product, how to use it, a bit about your main service. And then as we go down, further down the page, we can include more information, kind of longer piece of the text, things that aren't quite as uh, striking. The next tip is to make your copy short and scannable. You can do this in a couple of different ways. So it's good to break up your text into chunks, and each chunk should have a kind of subheadline. And these subheadlines are important. So as your user scans down and perhaps it's F-shaped, they're going to look at these titles and they're going to think, right, what's important to me? What's going to grab my attention? And also, these titles are very important for your SEO. Other ways to break up text is images. So this makes it a bit more digestible, breaks up the rhythm, and also don't forget to use plenty of white space. It's really important that you keep your call to actions short and succinct, and also action-based. So there should be things like apply now, download, or find out more. So one of my old bosses said, you should take your copy, your text, halve it, and then halve it again. I'm sure he didn't invent that. I'm sure I've heard that somewhere else, but bonus points are telling me who said that. The next tip is to be inclusive. It's always a good idea to have a conversation with your user and use words like us, we, or you. Imagine that you're talking to a, a real person and not to talk robotically. And keep in mind the context as well, because if you're writing a headline or you're writing a more humorous piece, you're going to have a slightly different tone of voice to when you're uh, writing some kind of legal copy or anything like that. The next tip is to build internal links. So if you're talking about sustainability, and this is a key word for you, you should make that a link and maybe link to another page where you talk more in detail. This is going to really help your Google search results, your SEO. Here we have an example of a before and after. So on the left, we have some text here that's just been written as a big long paragraph and it kind of waffles on about certain bits. And on the right, we've taken out the most important parts of this information, made it a bit shorter and a bit more punchy. So it really grabs our attention. And we've also added a hierarchy there. This is kind of mixing the copywriting and the graphic design together. So we've added in our main title. So that's gonna draw our attention in and tell us what it's about. And then we've added in these subheaders here and then a bit more background information below. So this is kind of following the inverted pyramid. So one good idea is to look at your own work and if you've got uh, big blocks of text, try to apply these rules and think about how you could break up that and how you could apply these tips and ideas to your own work.